Hello YouTube. This is Ozzy. I'm booting Oz X Mavericks on an Asus X300 CA. This is the nearest version of the Oz X Mavericks. Mouse works, the screen works, most of the time when it's Intel HD 4000 graphics, the problem that most people have is that they can't get past the black screen. I have noticed that too with other versions of, of Mavericks, but I guess Nearish, he must have did something. He must have added uh, the video drivers or something. I mean the video kects is what they called. Because right now I can bypass it and I can see the installer screen. So I'm actually going to install it and I hope everything goes smooth. Most likely what's going to happen is that the uh, Wi-Fi driver, Wi-Fi Kex is not going to work because this Wi-Fi card on here, is, I think it's the 9480, Athero's 9480. And that Wi-Fi card is known to be not compatible with uh, Os X Mavericks or any, uh, or any Apple system. But people can buy a small little Wi-Fi adapter that they put in the USB thumb drive. It looks like a thumb drive, but they can just put it in the USB drive, so that's the way around that. If this system can run smoothly, I can buy that Wi-Fi adapter, and then I'm good to go. I'm never going back to Windows again. Takes a little longer to boot. I don't know why, but I'm, I'm happy that it boots anyways, regardless, you know. This is just installer later on. It might be, after I actually install it, it might be faster. I don't know yet. Yeah, this is the first time that I'm doing this. There's the installer. Right now I'm going to have to do some partition stuff because I think it won't let me install until, unless I have a partition ready that's like OSX journal. If you go into the disk utility from utilities, you can actually control and format a certain partition. I want, I want to leave Windows 8 alone on the other partition because in case anything happens, I could fall back. I don't want to delete my whole hard drive. So... Well, I'm going to keep playing with it, but that's it.